Hey everybody, you know, I've got about six minutes to go on my lunch, but I wanted to come on here and do sort of another web recommendation, sort of an updated web recommendation on minor dash alterations uh, web story series called Demonica, which is a story series he's been doing, uh, he, they have been doing for the past year or so. Um, on DeviantArt, which is based off another DeviantArt user's character, Mr. Internet Man's character, Demonica. And I'll provide a link, hopefully, down below so you guys can um, see for yourselves or read for yourselves the stories or watch the other videos where I've done the recommendations. But I wanted to kind of update you a little bit more on um, what's been going on with the story. Now, basically, last last we left off the story, uh, well, basically, in on the intention of both sides of the spectrum, if you will, uh, Mr. Internet Man had done a side webcomic called Walk on the Wild Side. And, long story short, um, as I mentioned in my video about that one, uh, basically Demonica had used her, had learned so much about her powers, some of the new abilities of her powers, thanks to being around uh, being around uh, this FBI agent Ruby Walker, that she decided to, as a part of the new relationship, intimate relationship, she decided to kind of give Ruby what she's been wanting, a chance to kind of enjoy the powers, but also enjoy it in a way that she's become kind of a fan of, or she's become more attracted to, and that's the slime girl, gooey, melting down kind of perspective. So she does that. And long story short, or they be, both become slime girls, Demonica helps Ruby adjust to this new situation by going through all all the moments and everything intertwining, melting down, enveloping each other and all that, or enveloping, you know, kind of sloshing over each other, stuff like that, twisting and turning, to the point that basically during the first twirling and stuff, they go from being separate individuals to start to, to you know, whether speaking on their own, to now they're speaking almost the same thing simultaneously. They're slowly becoming one being. So end of this, so basically again, long story short, we get basically to the climax, if you will, of the story. And Demonica and Ruby, Ruby now in her new slime girl-like state, not only go through all the usual obstacles or usual motives and moments and stuff like that, they end up after having after the climax if you will they end up merging merging slash fusing into a new nameless entity it's kind of a black shaped black colored shaped uh a slime girl with no facial features or anything and basically she believe basically she's a fused version of both to where it's kind of an um, I guess according to Mr. Internet Man it's kind of a amnesic amnesic kind of a fusion where the fused version of both doesn't recall living two lives and can't remember who or what they are who or what they were so long story short or the new fused being is more enthralled with the powers she possesses and just and and the story just ends um, with her piling together, or just piling together, and then shaping out into a rectangle on a bed, sort of like a pool, if you will, well, making it look like a pool. So, um, anyway, anyway, to to get to the point here, um, minor dash alterations has been continuing his portion of the collaboration and one of the things he's been doing is making things a little bit more interesting. In some of the recent chapters, Demonica through, uh, has been helping Ruby out. Not only has she 
sort of absorbed Ruby into her body, broke her down into a mass, converted her human uh, molecules into a mass, into a mass that she can um, utilize and help her out. But she's been doing so to help Ruby crack a case. And it's gotten to the point that even Ruby has now started to master the powers a little bit. In fact, there's even one scene in one of the later chapters where Ruby uh, basically wakes up, but she's able to make a visage, a visage, if you will, uh, an imprint of her face come off of um, one of Demonica's uh, disguises. And she's able to not just do that in various uh, portions of the disguise, various areas on, a dis on the disguise, I should say, but she's also able to extend her neck a little bit. And all she wants to do is melt and turn to goo and stuff like that because basically we find out later on she feel she basically feels that it's the most relaxing thing she's ever done like it's just something that really helps her let go if you catch my drift anyway anyway long story short or um one of the chapters ends with Demonica and her finding out that the FBI or somebody within the FBI is on to them. They know what's going on. They have an idea. So the later chapters introduce uh, Demonica slash Veronica's alter ego, sultry alter ego, a bit of sass, if you will. It has, I guess you could say, God forgive me for saying this, a bitchy attitude, but good-hearted in nature bitchy attitude in Monica. And Monica is able to convince Ruby to kind of trust her a little bit, to let her take care of things. And, you know, Ruby doesn't have to worry about anything because what Demonica's doing is kind of taking a break because of the discovery they found out. The discovery they found out about. Or what they discovered, I should say. So, uh, to get to the point, basically, Monica, uh, Ruby is untrusting of this alternate version, this alter ego of Demonica's, uh, slash Veronica's. So, she's not too sure of yet, as of yet, but what has happened in recent chapters is Monica has said, Oh, you don't think you can uh, trust me? So, what she does is she uses... The same powers as Demonica, because Demonica, Monica, and Veronica, and all that are one and the same. She uses it to basically put her hand into Ruby's uh, stomach, you know, Ruby's body, and give her, and basically transfer some of the powers, or transfer a copy of the powers of Demonica's and hers into Ruby. And Ruby at first... You know, she's enticed by it, but tries, but then says, you know what, I'm not falling for it. I don't trust you. I know what you're trying to do. Ooh, you know, I know what you're trying to do. I'm not going to fall for it. Because what Monica, this alter ego of Demonica and Veronica's, is trying to prove is that, may, is that perhaps, yes, Ruby may love Demonica, but... A part of that love is more for the powers, is more towards the powers that Demonica has than just Demonica herself. Now, I won't be surprised if maybe Demonica acknowledges that she knows that and she just wants Ruby to admit it herself so they can have an understanding, compatible relationship. So anyway, like I said, uh, Demonica, so like I said, Ruby tries to fight the urge to use the powers that Monica has given her and but finally she just the temptation is just too much she kind of caves in and she starts utilizing the powers and doing things she's always been wanting to do with them I mean heck she gets mistaken for Monica if you will and she has to basically correct them and say uh, no I'm not Monica I'm just someone but I'm a close acquaintance of her a close friend of hers so Long story short, she comes up with an alter ego name for herself called Justina. You know, you know, short for justice. Justina. And the story ends with her using her new powers to teleport herself back to her apartment and just start to celebrate by lying down in her bed 
Ed and just transforming and just going through a transformation craze, if you will, throughout the night in celebration or in euphoria of these new powers. Now, from what I understand, because I've talked to minor dash alterations, in the next chapter, there's going to be a focus on Ruby utilizing these powers more so, having more fun with them, I would assume. I even asked if there was going to be some melting involved, because that's basically like the forte with Ruby and her fascination with these powers. And minor dash alterations told me, don't worry, there's going to be a major part of the chapter focused on her or, and her transformation fun with these powers and stuff, as far as I know. Now, as far as, the, as far as Monica's role in this, I was thinking about how, you know, minor dash alterations could capitalize on it. And it got me thinking that what's going to happen is we're finally going to see inside the mind of Monica slash Demonica slash Veronica because they're one and the same and we might see like some kind of disagreement, mental argument, something like that uh, between the two about what just occurred and I think what's going to happen in the end is it's going to come to a, is that all three if not just if not just you know Demonica and Monica herself are going to come to a mutual understanding, like a respectful mutual understanding of what's going on. And I would not be surprised, if, like I said, if Demonica reveals, hey, I've always known that that's what attracted Ruby to me more so than anything. So we'll have to wait and see, but I just thought I'd come on here, give you guys an updated web recommendation on the Demonica story series by Minor Dash Alterations, the collaborated story series by Minor Dash Alterations and Mr. Internet Man. I uh, hope you guys all enjoyed this. Let me know what you think down below. I will try to provide Sorry about that. But like I said, I will try to provide more info, uh, the links down below in the description so you guys can check them out yourself. But let me know what you all think down below. Comment if you like. And I am out.